So today's video is going to be the getting ready for med school because ultimately I think I want to show and document my medical school journey because I think it'll be fun and hopefully it's also useful and fun for you guys to watch. Video is gonna just be the packing, the moving, uh, the road trip down to Miami, and also a lot of like the little things I need to get done to get ready for school, um, because there's more things than I thought that I would need to do. Maybe because I'm a little bit lazy, um, and I want to be as lazy as I can for as long as possible. But alas, there's stuff that I need to get done. Um, if I think about it, it doesn't seem like that much stuff, but I think it's just me having to do it feels like a lot if that makes any sense. Here's the paintings that I'm trying to finish today because there's exactly a week before I have to be all packed up and moved and I need these to dry in time. And here's a to-do list that I need to do before school. Like, I finished most of these because most of these were due a couple days ago, but look at, look at all these. It's kind of so much. And there's also a lot of immuni immuniz- I can't say that word, immunizations. And there was also a lot of immunizations that I need to do, um, but thankfully because of my job, I have most of them, so I didn't actually need to do a lot of them. So just get prepared and have your insurance ready. I hope you have insurance to cover these because immunizations are expensive. So there's T minus three days until we leave this apartment, T minus two days until we have to have everything packed up. And yesterday, um, we just got our courses for the pre-professional course that we have to do like before school starts. It's basically just, I think, around eight hours of video, um, supposedly supposed to help us prepare for school, um, catch us up on some background information, I think. I haven't actually looked at it yet, so don't actually know what the material is about, but that's okay. probably stop my fiber for now just to give myself some time but it also doesn't help to earn a little money because you know except for my loans I have loan money in my bank account and that doesn't make me feel that great I am so tired <laughs> I couldn't go to sleep last night I think I'm just like stressed about like getting the move done and everything packing up everything like well because I want to break I don't know, but I woke up at 7 a.m. and if you know me, I love to sleep and so waking up at 7 a.m. just is not for me, but it's something I'm gonna have to do in the future or in the near future, so I'm not too mad about it, but I'm tired. <laughs> we are hoping to be able to move everything by tomorrow, so it's officially crunch time for packing and it feels like everything is mostly packed, but then again, it feels like nothing. It's like I still feel like there's so much more to pack and so I'm just tired. I started reviewing the first module yesterday, which is histology, and I took notes on my iPad for the first time. Uh, I don't know if you can actually see this, but it was pretty fun, but it took me way too long because like I was trying to write really nicely because I like my notes like visually appealing and so when my writing's ugly, like I'm just never gonna read it ever again. And so I tried to make my writing really nice, except that this is my first time actually taking notes on an iPad, so everything looked kind of funky. I don't know if I explained the modules yet, but they're basically um, just, there's four modules and one optional one, um, just basically to help us prepare for school, um, I think content-wise, and also to just help us get back in the hang of studying and everything, um, especially for those of us who have taken some time off. And then I'm going to take a break from packing and just look over a little bit more of the modules. Um, right now, I just finished going over epithelial cells yesterday. It's like a throwback to like MCAT and like college bio, which I should have paid more attention in, and I, where I should have actually retained my information. But I am who I am. Um, this is all under the first module, which is histology, and then there's cell signaling about chemistry, embryology, molecular genetics, and an optional cell biology which really makes me wish I took a class in college. Uh, but basically these are just like, there's a panapto and then there's some um, links to articles and videos that we can watch and read to catch up on these material, to learn about these material, and then we complete an assessment at the end of each module. Um, it's, I don't think they're graded, 
so I'm not that stressed about it, but I'm still a teeny bit stressed because like I still want to do well on these, uh, these assessments just so I can be more confident going forward into medical school. studying wrong as in like I was just like writing names down when I should have had been focusing on like learning how they work or stuff like that. I don't know. It's hard to gauge how some medical thing what a school thing studying is gonna be like since I feel like it should be different from undergrad. Um, I guess that's what these pre or some modules are for. And so this morning I woke up and I started studying self signaling pathways. Definitely weird to be back in the hang of that black work quizzes and like reading stuff you don't really know, but it's still chill right now just because like school hasn't started, so it's kind of fun to learn. We are planning to stay here for eight days, and those eight days we're gonna finish off work quizzes and hopefully the optional quiz as well. So that means we have to do a quiz every other day, and we are currently on track for that. And there's only been one quiz, but still, we are still on track. Where are we? A new market, Maryland. Where is that? <laughs> a lot of cornfields here, but we're at a farmer's market trying to relax and enjoy our last couple days before we hit the road. We're about to eat our first solid meal in like over 24 hours and it's ramen and broccoli which is what they don't recommend after a juice cleanse you're like ease your way back in with healthy like fruits and vegetables nah but i i am so nervous because i haven't had solid food in like over a day and it's so weird so today we drove from harrisonburg virginia where shenandoah is to richmond just to walk around the museum and now we're finally in North Carolina Raleigh, Raleigh, after like five total hours of driving and I'm tired and we did a juice cleanse and then we ate so now I'm energized and fueled. My body feels great and I think I'm going to take my last um, pre-orientation module quiz on cell bio. It said it was optional, but what is optional? Wish me luck. Wish 
officially done with all my pre-module courses. Yay, even the optional one. And I passed all the quizzes. Sometimes in multiple attempts, but that's fine. We all here trying to guess and do our best educated guess. And I'm so excited to not have to think about this anymore. And yeah. All I have left now is the pre-summer, like the summer reading that we have to do. Basically, we have six books. They have six suggested books. You choose one. I chose one. I just read that and enjoy the rest of my road trip. And yeah, enjoying the last week, week and a half, two weeks before school starts. Not ready. <laughs> room in Savannah because it is even though it says it's 93 degrees outside it feels like 110 and there's an excessive heat warning and so we just decided that it's in everyone's best interest to stay indoors and so today this morning we went to go get some biscuits and some coffee and we brought it back to the hotel to enjoy in our lovely 70 degree room but I feel like it's late enough and I do want to see a little more of the city so I think we're going to venture out and I'm here preparing myself for this heat. It's honestly, if I think about it, then it's all in my head and it's actually not that bad. Um, it could be a lot worse. Um, the humidity isn't 100% so I'm very grateful for that. Yesterday night I finished um, most of the book I was reading, The Spirit Catches You When You Fall. Um, I just low-key just skimmed through like most of the ending parts. I kind of skipped the history, and I should know a little bit more about the history of like the Hmong people. And because I, I was just so invested in the story, and so we ended up going to sleep at like 2 a.m. But it was a really good book, and I highly do recommend it um, for those of you out there. And oh, 
if you read it before like interviews and stuff it'll also give you like a good talking point because sometimes like i think i got the question like oh what was the last book you read something like that for like interviews or secondaries or somewhere there so i do recommend it that's a good book to read We cannot move in yet, and they cannot give us a date on when to move in. Not stressed at all, you know. Gonna take this as a, an optimistic person, and we're gonna be like, "Well, this is a chance for me to get new professional clothes. Yay! Spend some more money, get some more clothes, retail therapy. I don't know, um, but I don't want to think about it because there's nothing I can do in this situation." And so orientation is in three days on Thursday, it starts on Thursday, and it's going to be Thursday, Friday, and half of Saturday. And they sent out an email earlier today with like a breakdown of like oh, everything that's happening. Um, unfortunately, Marv and I won't be in the same group in the same, same auditorium just because his last name starts with a C and mine starts with an S and we were never going to be together. Um, so I'm going to have to go make new friends and be social and as an introverted person, very, very nervous. And if you're introverted, you understand where I'm coming from because <sighs> I just put on some foundation and went to go get my ID, which is very exciting. They recommended us to go get our IDs if we could if we were in the city um, earlier than this Wednesday. And there's something else that we can do to get ready for school, unfortunately, just because we can't move into our apartment. And most of the things that we needed to get done was just like settling into the apartment and it keeps sending emails being like well make sure you're selling to this apartment and make sure that you are like set up to ready to go for school before monday hits um we don't know when we're going to be ready for um when we can move into this hotel so i don't know if we will be in a hotel by next if we will be in our apartment by next week but you know life happens everything happens for a reason and it's fine i think the one clip i didn't show uh, this whole getting ready for a med school thing was me going home for three weeks to just spend some time at home with no stress, no studying, just like just to be at home with people I love, with people I care about. And that honestly was like the best way to start off this whole like let me relax before med school kind of thing. Like I definitely recommend going home and spending time with your family, your friends, your loved ones, etc. Just and to do the things that you've always wanted to do on your bucket list because once school starts, I really don't think that you're gonna have the time and you're always gonna be like that mental, like the student mentality, you're like oh my god, I need to study. There's like this test date coming on, like it's always gonna be in the back of your head. You won't fully be like completely relaxed in like this sense right now. And so I highly do recommend you guys to do that. If any of you are interested in coming to UM or a future UM student while you watch this, like please reach out. I'd love to connect with you. And I think I'm gonna end this video here because there's something else to show with me getting ready for med school because the only thing left is to move in and like I said, I can't do that. Um, I think I'm gonna take you along orientation with me for my next video, so stay tuned and thank you so much for watching if you watched this this whole way and I'll see you guys next time. Bye. I'm in the